A geomagnetic storm is on the rise, and SpaceX just revealed a really sad news regarding this. According to the SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, the company will lose up to 40 of the 49 Starlink satellites it launched last week as the result of this storm. Part of Musk's mega constellation project, these satellites are expected to burn instead of reaching their intended orbit. So what's going on? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to talk about what Elon Musk just exposed about a horrifying ticking bomb right ahead of us. If you want to find out more, then stay with us until the end of the video. Also, before we start the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos. And let's get started. Elon Musk's firm launched the satellites into low Earth orbit on February 3rd from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. A Falcon 9 rocket loaded with a group of Starlink Internet satellites was standing on Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center for a launch opportunity. However, the launch was delayed to Thursday due to unknown reasons. The Starlink network is designed to provide high-speed Internet access to customers in remote areas, but it is also available in many major cities. SpaceX eventually wants to deploy thousands of more satellites, which has raised concerns about space debris and interruptions to astronomy observations. Scientists and researchers have raised objections that the satellites can cause streaks of light across images of planets, stars, and other space objects. Astronomers have also lauded SpaceX. However, they are working to reduce the glare from the satellites with dark coating and sun shields. SpaceX has launched 2,042 Starlink satellites to date as the company builds out a globe-spanning constellation of commercial broadband relay stations. However, the recent launch will turn to ash as 80% of the satellites are now expected to burn up instead of reaching their intended orbit, according to SpaceX. Unfortunately, the satellites deployed on Thursday were significantly impacted by a geomagnetic storm on Friday. These storms caused the atmosphere to warm and atmospheric density at our low deployment altitudes to increase. The speed and severity of the storm resulted in an atmospheric drag that was up to 50% higher than during previous launches. Though the satellites were commanded to take over from the storm by flying edge on, they failed to carry out the maneuvers required to reach the required orbit, SpaceX stated. Up to 40 of the satellites will re-enter or already have re-entered to Earth's atmosphere. The deorbiting satellites pose zero collision risk with other satellites. The Starlink satellites are designed to disintegrate upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere, the company said, meaning no orbital debris is created and no satellite parts hit the ground. Now, what exactly is a geomagnetic storm, and is it dangerous for Earth? The Sun regularly emits solar flares, some of which are massive and dangerous enough to even interfere with the electronics and the electrical infrastructure back here on Earth, including navigation systems, satellites, internet, and more. The solar flares that interfere with the communication systems are emitted by sunspots when they are fired in the direction of Earth. Now, astronomers have recently detected that a new sunspot that is firing off massive solar flares into space. While it remains unclear exactly which region of the sun shot off the solar flares, it is surmised that it would be a sunspot that is on the other side of the sun and not facing the Earth. According to Space.com, at least half a dozen explosions occurred during that brief movie. The blast site is hidden just behind the edge of the sun. It's almost certainly an unstable sunspot. It is worth noting that the spots on the sun from where these solar flares emitted is in a region that is not facing the Earth. Instead, it is on the opposite side. The report said that the scientists will get a better view of the region from where these solar flares are emerging when it rotates into view of the Earth in around 24 to 48 hours. The sun's rotation varies by latitude and it takes 24 Earth days to rotate at the equator, and more than 30 days at the poles. But that is not the only activity going on on the surface of the Sun. The disturbance that drives the magnetic storm may be a solar coronal mass ejection, or CMA, or a co-rotating integration region, or CAR, a high-speed stream of solar winds originating from a coronal hole. The frequency of geomagnetic storms increases and decreases with the sunspot cycle. During solar maximum, geomagnetic storms occur more often, with the majority driven by CMEs. A separate report by Space.com details a solar flare being fired off from the region of the Sun facing the Earth. NASA's Space Weather Prediction Center has also reported that the Sun fired off an X1-class solar flare recently. The Space Weather Prediction Center also wrote on its platform that the coronal mass ejection, or CME, from this solar flare is expected to reach the Earth anytime soon. 
The report said, the eruption could supercharge Earth's northern lights and potentially interfere with satellite-based communications. The United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has also issued a warning against an enormous geomagnetic storm caused by a strong solar flare. According to the department, the solar flare could cause massive disruption to power grids and affect spacecraft and satellites. According to experts, the possible effects of the sudden flash due to the increased brightness from the sun 93 million miles away could be felt from the Earth. But is it dangerous? Let's find out. Although solar flares are high radiations, this phenomenon is not dangerous to humans on the surface of the Earth. The geomagnetic storm could have a technological impact on the man-made power grids and satellites, but not cause any effects to humans. Earlier in 1989, a strong solar eruption caused the Canadian province of Quebec to lose power for nine hours, showcasing how big an effect it could have. Models compiled by the Indian Institute of Scientific Education and Research's Center of Excellence in Space Sciences point to a very high probability of material whizzing past our planet at a speed of 21,600,000 km per hour, or 451 to 615 km per second, impacting the Earth. Solar flares are classified as A, B, C, M, or X, based on their X-ray brightness. A is the smaller, while X is the largest and brightest. The recently observed solar flare was the first X-flare spotted on the Sun's surface since a new solar cycle began in December of 2019. The Sun undergoes an 11-year activity where it swells to a peak at the middle of the cycle and then begins to quiet down until the end of the cycle when it all repeats. Although the current space environment is normal, the Center of Excellence in Space Sciences India predicted flares of M or X class in the coming days, as it stated. A couple of solar active regions are being flagged by the SESI algorithm to be potentially flare productive, chances of M or X class flares to persist. Current space environmental condition is normal. While the Earth's atmosphere protects humanity and the rest of the flora and fauna from the ravages of the electromagnetic storms that solar storms create, it does have an impact elsewhere. The nicest impact is that these solar storms end up creating some sublime auroras up in the skies. The bigger the solar storm, the more and brighter are the auroras, and they can be seen across a broader swath of the Earth. The worst impact will be on electrical infrastructure. A solar storm can knock out satellites and deprive us of GPS and other stuff that satellites do. Back down on Earth, a big solar storm will knock out the Internet. The most vulnerable part of the internet system consists of sea cables. Now, the cables themselves will not be affected, but they are connected to each other through repeaters. It is these repeaters that will be knocked down, and this will send the internet into a tailspin. Coming back to the topic, SpaceX has already launched 2,000 Starlink satellites and has permission from U.S. authorities to send up 12,000 in total, so a group of 40 satellites burned to ashes is not really a big deal for the company at the moment. The network has already drawn growing concerns from astronomers, who fear a mega constellation of tens of thousands of satellites could blight the night sky and also hamper scientists' ability to study the distant universe. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Are you people going to take Elon Musk warning seriously? Share with us in the comments below, and thank you for watching.